Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zane's Other View. Now this Zane's Other View, if you can hear me, I'm very congested still, I'm still very sick. But this Zane's Other View is about the video that has just currently been removed by YouTube because of the violence of it. And this is a man that beat both of his daughters who placed a video on Facebook of trolling. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Basically, they're shaking their ass on a video pretty much like a booty call. Now, I've seen several videos. Many people, it's kind of split here. Some people believe that this guy is going to get his ass nailed by ACS. Others believe he doesn't deserve it because his good-for-nothing daughters who should know better, they look like they're about maybe 13, maybe 14 years old. They're not, they don't look very old. They're not in their te early teens. They're maybe 14, maybe 15 years old. It's a possibility. I say about maybe 13 or 14 years old. By putting that booty shaking video on Facebook, he felt that he had the perfect right to take a cable wire, not an extension cord. The sucker's pitch black. And I know what it feels like to get hit by a cable wire and an extension cord. I'm not much different than anybody else. I'm a mixed black man. My mother was a mixed black woman. And she whipped me just like most other people that is in America. That has gone through that. Who have parents that are more old school like that. Now here's the problem. If anyone seen my videos. I've stated very clearly. That the black community has a severe problem on its hands. And this is an extension of this. Now, does it mean the man doesn't deserve to discipline his daughters? I'm making this really clear. The man deserved, as a parent, to discipline his daughters. Yes, he does. If his daughters do something that dramatic, if he felt they deserved to be disciplined, yes, he does deserve to do that. He deserves to take away their computers. He deserves to take away any money they will usually get. He can put them into some type of class to get them straightened out. And there are certain instances, if he felt like they need to be spanked, they are quite old for that. They're not in their, their little, little babies. They look like they're in their teens. Some people could say he deserves to, to spank them. But when it reaches a point like that, like it used to be over 50 years ago, and 40 years ago, and 30 and 20 years ago, this is where it should end. Look, if you see this video, and it's been pulled off of YouTube, but there is a site that you can go to to search for it. I just managed to find it on one of the random sites, and I could not see what the, um, it was from someone's account, and now it's gone as well. But you know what? It has sites out there. You can find the beating, but I'm going to say it's simple. Someone of my age who should understand this and not really get too much of a bashing for it. I don't agree with this anymore. If this was 10 years ago in the mentality I was then, before I know what's going on now with the black community and how black people, not just pure-blooded blacks, but mixed blacks of black and Puerto Rican, black and Chinese, black no matter what, if they still follow the more older traditions and act like they're part of the black community and interact with the black community, it's gone too far now. You know why? I'm going to make it simple to you. The black community does not care about its youth, does not care about, and now I'm going to make it more understandable. For the little children, the black community does not care anymore. No matter what anybody says, they care. They say they care. But if they do care, they would not act the way they do. The black community teaching their youth, they don't care. They don't. Because there is no nuclear family anymore. 
I'm saying it very clearly. The nuclear family that so many people can't stand to hear that white people all, all in those 50s and maybe the 40s, 50s, and maybe the early 60s where people don't want to hear, oh, black, white pe black people don't need to act like white people. We're better. You know what? No, you're not. White people, no matter how much people, just don't want to remember how it used to be back then. And I'm not talking about how white people used to call us nigger every single time. I don't like using that word, but in this case, I have no choice but to use it. I am talking about how they structured their family. And in some cases, black people had structured most of their family values not much different than white. But once we reached past the 50s into the 60s, 70s, and 80s, that ended. The black community destroyed itself when it gave up the core value of family. It did. The way that they treat their kids. There is a certain point at how far you act. The beating this man did is no better than the beating that people back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and even to the early 60s used to get from white Ku Klux Klan. Now, I'm sure many people say, are you nuts? This man is nothing but uh, a fucking Ku Klux Klan. No, he isn't. But think about the mentality of this man. And most black people in general. Where do you hear white people unless they come from the very deep south? And they have been taught no better than to beat their children into submission to act like that. Now, when it comes to black people, you can say the very same thing. If they're from the deep, deep south where they were raised, they would act like that. My mother was born in 1929. When I was 10 years old, she was from the 50s already. And she treated me no different than she did when she brought up my half-brothers. I have no brothers and sisters. Both my parents had kids from different people. I am the only child they ever had. But it doesn't mean my mother did not treat me no different than my half-brothers who were born back in the 50s and late 60s who basically got their asses whooped by anything possible. But this is the problem. Where did our people learn this? And I'm including myself as a mixed black Man, I'm mixed with Puerto Rican, yes, but I'm also mixed with black, Native American, and Chinese. I grew up with my mother, then my father. I was beaten no different than any black kid that was there who had gone through something similar to what those kids went to. Getting themselves smacked in the face. If you say one thing wrong in the street, you will get smacked deep in the face. Or of someone who was black who knew your mother if you acted stupid and irresponsible. Luckily for me, I never acted that bad. But I was with kids who were like that and they, in the street, would get themselves smacked in the face. I even saw once a friend of mine, he was black. He literally, his uncle came up to him and saw what we were doing. Well, actually what he was doing because they were acting stupid and one kid got hurt. And when he found out and he saw us the next day and found out what happened, he knew that he was part of it. He literally forced that boy to drop his drawers in a park, took his own belt and started smacking him on the ass with it. And the kid was 10 years old, nearing 11. He beat his ass in a park with everyone watching. He said, don't mind me. This is my nephew. I can do what the fuck I want. Beat his ass made him put his pants back up with his own belt and took him home. Embarrassed him in front of his friends and everyone. But let me ask you this. Honestly, where does the black community get this from? Why do our own people need to beat our children so much over the last near 70 or 80 or even 90 years? You can even go farther back than that. But I'm saying at least 80 or 90 years because by the time that happened, that's early, early teens, 1900 to the 1920, when people who weren't from the deep south, who were in the other types of communities that were urban, where the hell did we get this from? There's only one place you could get it from. 
And that is from the people who beat our ancestors in the first place. Our people, our families have raised our kids when they act inappropriate. Instead of using similar tactics that either white or even Asian parents do. And I'm not saying Asian parents wouldn't beat their kids. But the thing is that Asian children have been taught much better to control themselves in an open environment other than they would act. When they act irresponsible, when they got a beating, it wasn't so heavily dramatic, but it was highly very embarrassing and demeaning. Just getting beat once, smacked in the ass or smacked once, if it was with a belt or by a face, was so demeaning that child would never do that again. But with black children, or mixed black like myself, they have to be beaten into fucking submission to finally get it through their heads to act a certain way. But how do the children act like that? Because the community doesn't take care of them. You got gang members out there who don't give a damn what happens with kids. They're going to teach them how to act and the way they talk. You got people who've been in jail who should have learned their lesson, but still go back to the same way. And they'll also teach kids when they were in gangs to act the same way. And I'm taking care of that. And even if you even remove that little bit, you still have the regular adults who should know better. One, not to say the word nigger anymore and say that you're no better than me, you fucking nigger. Two, they should at least understand that you have to set an example in front of children, no matter if they're your own or someone else. You should act more appropriate, have better language, better understanding in how to help the future. Do we get that from the black community? No. 90% of the time, people who say, I don't think that's right. These kids got to be raised better. They say all this. Even people who are pastors, people who are reverends, people who go to church every day, or people who go on Sunday dress in the most greatest clothes to show praise to God. But then when they're finished, they go out and act stupid and disrespect. When kids hear that, kids soak things up as a sponge. They are sponges to soak stuff up. I understand that better than most. Luckily, there are some exceptions where kids don't end up that bad. When their parents and the environment they come from, even if it's bad, these kids won't end up that way. I come from a house where it was drug addiction, either heroin or it was alcoholism, or in the final thing, smoking. I don't drink, I don't smoke or do any type of drug. I never needed to. I never did. At one point, I was raised literally in a bar for seven years. From six until 13. Well, I might be wrong about the numbers, but pretty much I was raised in a bar. But I never picked up the habit. I never went to that stuff. There are exceptions to the rule. Kids can grow up to be good even when they're in a bad environment. But you know what? In general, these kids don't know no better. Their parents don't know better because the way they act in front of their kids or in front of someone else, the kids act that way. The people who are not their, who are relatives of those kids don't know better because they should be acting better in front of them, either drinking, smoking, or learning how to curb their tongues or their actions and attitude. And our community should know no be should know better because when it comes down to it, if you see kids acting in the street or walking along, you don't start cursing and acting like a fool. Like you don't have any sense or respect in either a woman, yourself, or children. Because the black community doesn't act that way. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are saying, come on, man, why are you bashing the community? We got a lot of great stuff going on, do we? Let me ask you this, and this is, if you see this honestly, and I've seen so many videos where they blame, where people are blaming black women 
for the problems they have with black men. Black men, they blame with black women. They blame white people. They blame the government. But I have not heard one person to ever say, you know what? The main reason we have a problem here is not because of white people anymore. Not saying they don't give us flack or try to do something. It's not because of the government. Yes, the government is trying to do things because they want to control. But we don't have to follow that. It's not directly about black men. It's not directly about black women. It's not about technology. It's about our community. And I've seen people, they don't want to listen to that or hear it. This is the second video I've done what well, I'm saying clearly to everyone, if you see this, the black community is the issue here. It's not all the other things outside. It's not about Facebook. It's not about YouTube. It's not about having a cell phone where you can upload those things. It's not, not one little bit of it. It's not about drugs. It's not about the government. It's not about the white man putting us down. It's not about the Jews putting us down. It's about ourselves putting ourselves down. And nobody wants to see that this culture that we have, where this man, who probably loves the hell out of his kids, the minute he saw this, instead of going, you know what? You lost your Facebook. You lost your phone. Any money you're getting, you lost that. Anything that's happened at school, I'm bringing you straight to fuck home, both of you. You know, even if he is cursing, he didn't have to beat them to the point where who knows how badly injured they are. And ACS, ACS, this video has been removed from YouTube. Someone can easily recognize this on Facebook or YouTube and can go find the man and can take those children away. Someone who knows them and has found this out. The teachers for those kids can report this to ACS. This man knew no better. Instead of finding an alternative for what he did, his feelings of such disrespect that his own girls will wiggle their asses and maybe show their tits. Instead of finding a reason why they did it. Instead of taking away everything and keeping those kids on lockdown until they learned a lesson, he beat them so badly. Who knows what extent they're in right now. Hopefully they'll be alright. And this man, who probably is a great guy, who really didn't want to do that, but didn't know any better. And this is what people don't want to hear. The black community doesn't know better. You got to beat the fuck out of your kids to get them to understand not to disrespect you because that is what that man was screaming. You're going to disrespect me on fucking Facebook? He beat those girls because he felt disrespected. You want to put some shit on Facebook wigging your ass? That wasn't just because they put something up there that he did that really made them look bad and could endanger them. He did this because he felt disrespected as a black man and he wanted them to learn a lesson to beat them near senseless. Anyone who's black that sees this Think about this. Think about how you've been raised. I spent the last 10 years of my life who was an abused child, who had parents, who were abusers, a half-brother who was a drug addict, a mother who was badly depressed and on drugs herself to take care of that depression, but also drank, a father who didn't know no better and was also an abuser, and a addict of cigarettes. I took 10 years of my life to try and get myself straight in the head. And then I finally realized it. I finally realized being injured right now, stuck out of work, hurt because I was raised barely to even know anything better than to work yourself to death. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. Something does matter. You matter. I say this to everyone right now. You matter. And it's now time to realize it's time to change our attitude. Time to change the culture of the black community in America. 
And I'm not just talking about where I'm at in New York. Deep South needs to change. California needs to change. Chicago, where almost 80% of the people there, or 90, is in fear because most of the time they're shot by illegal guns and hearing legal guns must be banned when it's illegal guns you can just find anywhere. They're getting shot by most of the time gang members who really don't really care who they kill. In most cases, actually more than most cases, it's black on black killing. And people say this is wrong, this is terrible. But when it comes down to it, there's a way to stop this. We need to change our culture. But nobody wants to do that because then you're not going to be considered black anymore. If you don't want more for your race, no matter how mixed you are with black, then you don't want what King wanted. And you don't want equality. People screaming right now, I want equality. I want to be treated better. I'm entitled. Well, guess what? You had your entitlement. You have the right to be able to find a job and make good money. The 40 mules, the 40, sorry, the 40 acres and the mule has already been repaid to the black community tenfold. We have Barack Hussein Obama as a president, no matter if you agree with him or not. We had Adam Clayton Powell. We have so many people who have done great in the military, in politics, in religion. Entertainers, one of the greatest entertainers that we had was Michael Jackson, Sammy Davis Jr., Louis Armstrong, the list goes on, B.B. King, you got what you wanted, America. You wanted fucking equality and you got it. But then you don't want to take the consequences of getting that equality. That means you need to change your culture. The minute you get what you want, you need to change. Right now, this culture doesn't want to change. They see everything, oh, it's not working right, but that means we're black. You need to change. And I'm saying it now. If you can't see right now what that man did to those kids, no matter if they did deserve at least a spanking, if they were little seven, eight, or nine-year-old kids, they deserve a spanking because they're young enough then. But if you got 11, 12, 13, or 14-year-old kids, and they're not being beat by being spanked, but they're being hit with a cable wire, that you use to hook up your internet connection or your cable box, then you seriously have a problem. This man has a problem, no matter if he's a good man or not. This, those kids have a problem because someone must have put it into their heads, not what they saw, but someone must have said, let's go and do this because other girls are doing this. We got the same junk in the trunk, just like any other black kid. We can look just as good that's how it goes. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's time to change our culture. It's time to finally accept the fact that we got everything we wanted. Yes, there's still a lot of challenges because there's always going to be someone from any culture that's going to hurt the black community. But the one that's hurting it the most is ourselves. I hope you enjoyed this Zane's of you. Subscribe and comment to my channel. As I always say, I do mainly wrestling. And I hope you want to see them if you're a wrestling fan. And I hope anyone who sees this video do not get offended for what I said. I'm saying this out of passion. Because it's wrong to see this continue. I'm not saying I wasn't beat as a kid. I was no better than those girls. I was beat with a lot of other things other than just a basically an electrical wire. Believe me. But it doesn't mean it was right. And my mother didn't know any better either because she was taught the same thing back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s as she grew up by my grandmother who probably beat the shit out of her too. They get that from when we were slaves. It's time to break our... It's time to break the cycle. It's time to end the beatings. Please see this. And please be well. And I hope you think about this.